They hatch them, feed them, and raise them until they're ready for release. Staff of the Puntledge Hatchery are now in the process of saying goodbye to more than 800,000 coho introduced into local lakes and streams. But that job isn't as easy as, as it sounds. It requires air support. CTV's Gord Kerbis shows us how it's done. A helicopter rises off the grounds of the Pullage Hatchery. It's lifting a unique tank filled with special cargo ready for release. We're releasing a group of juvenile coho from eggs that were taken last fall. Now these fish are approximately two grams in size and ready to release up into the upper watershed into Comox Lake. Fry are normally transported from the hatchery by truck, but today's airlift enables the job to be done faster and to get into more remote areas. The five hours that we have the helicopter today would probably take us four to five days to do the same number of fish. We still have a lot of fish to transport by truck and boat, and we'll continue that in the remainder of this week into next week. Yep. The airlift uses a specialized bucket developed by a former fishery staff member. Four separate chambers means the load can be portioned out and delivered into precise locations. He gets the pod within two feet of the water, releases the fish. They just pour out about eight to 10,000 fish per release. And within a minute, they're oriented and they're gone toward the shore. Unique to this year's release is the fact 20,000 extra fish are involved from the Courtney Fishing Game Club. A problem with their 30-year-old hatchery means the group's volunteers have been working at the Puntledge Hatchery. This year we've incubated our eggs and we've also raised our fry here this year, which is, if without bringing them here, we would not have a hatchery this year. It's fairly, uh, fairly unique, but uh, it's been a really, really successful sort of partnership and I know the volunteers really, really appreciate working with Pumla Chattery staff. It's been a great year for them. The 800,000 fish released by the end of next week should be available for catching by local fishermen within two to three years. Gord Kerbis, CTV News, Courtney.